So welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we'll focus on pie chart, how to prepare a lesson using a pie chart in your lesson. This is a follow up to a previous video we had done on a bar chart. What's a pie chart? A pie chart is a circular graph that shows the relative contribution that different categories contribute to an overall total. That means it shows different segments and now each segment, this segment contribute to overall total. All right, so we want to bring in a pie chart now. Now let's go to the insert here and let's reduce the font size. All right, so let's go to the insert and then we'll go to charts and navigate down to a pie chart. All right, this is a pie chart. Please, if this is your first time in this channel, you can use the subscribe button so that you get regular notifications when there ever there is a new video in this series on the channel or all videos in other series. All right, so, and like I said, this is a follow up to previous videos we have done on using Google Docs just as it is here to prepare lessons and also using a bar chat to prepare lessons. The links to this video is going to be below this video. All right, so now this is a pie chart. This are the different segments, like we said, is actually it shows how relative contribution that different categories. This category, this is it shows four teams here, how each of them contribute to the overall score, each of their scores, different segment. So it's like ratio, all their contributions at different levels. How they contribute that's what a pie chart shows now we can actually adjust this pie chart we can adjust it and resize it and rotate it the way we like for instance we can turn, turn this click here we can turn it upside down click here we can turn it as well if we want to turn it you can change your writing you can edit all these writings and to edit the writings here, we cannot do it here. Here is just to size it. We can actually go here because there is a source that bring up, brings up the spy charts. The spy chart has a source, of course. Before you actually get to a point where you have to drop a chart, there must be a data, a data source that results in you dropping a chart. So let's go to the source. The source is on Google Sheets. Everything on this chart must have been done on Google, on Google Sheets before it's actually converted to a chart. Okay. So, so each of them, the team one, team two, 32%, 21%, 34%, 10%. All of them contribute to a total overall total of the data now let's take a look at the source where all the data are picked from to form the chart so here you have the teams here is the teams so the teams each of them that we saw here they are all here. We can actually edit it and actually change change the data here. Instead of calling it team, we could say they are class. Whatever we do here will actually reflect reflect on the chart, on the chart itself. All the data is on the chart. It was okay. I want to change this. We can actually change each of them. Each of them. So we can change them. But let's want to change this to Instead of calling it a team, let's change it to class. So this is class. And then we'll change this as well. And 
then we'll come here so as you can see on the chart the change we had made is already is already showing there that it's no longer team in all the ones who've actually changed from team for class the change is already showing this is a class one there's a class two there's a class three and then the last one we've not changed is still there we're gonna actually resize the chart the pie chart itself we can do whatever thing we want to do even the score this point in score we can actually change it to whatever we want it's a function of going to the heading here changing it from here okay all right so now let's go into the chat now the next thing we can do here is come here is to actually edit this chart and tweak it the way we want it to look like. Okay, there. This is the chart. We can change it to the format we want, how we want it to look like. We can act basically actually convert it to anything we want. We can convert it from charts from pie chart to a bar chart. Okay? You can convert it from a pie chart to a bar chart or to a column. However you want it, or even to a line or area. Everything is going to be exactly the same. Okay, I basically make it like a 3D pie chart. So let's say we want to believe it in a 3D pie chart. Can actually change it to any other format that we actually want, want it to look like. We can change it this way. That's the default way it was. So let's leave it 3D. Okay, that's it. Then we can go back and go down and change this this sort of period. We can actually edit it or remove it totally. And change it the way we want it to look. To look, then you can go as much as further. So whatever I want to tweak around this, you can change it. Oh, every aggregates, everything we want here, you can actually change it. And let's go to the customize. How do you want it to look? The style. Does the style? The writing style, the color around it, the background color of this. You can actually change the background color to any color you like. See? So let's leave it the way it was on default background color. Naturally, it's on 3D already. We set it to 3D. Now let's go to the different, the other side. The border, the label, the font, the text color. Naturally change everything here. Alright, so that is what you can do on your own. You can do as much as whatever you feel like doing. But one thing is certain, once we're done here, you can actually go back to the... You can actually come back here and and change it, put just this one. Okay, so that's it. Now, we, have, we can actually delete it from here. We can download it it has a png format a png means an image logo or anything image that we can use for any other um document uh, import it there you can actually publish it you can copy it anywhere you can actually move it straight to another sheet so those are the old exactly other thing you can actually use other things all right so now we are done here the next we want to do is to bring down the image here. We can actually go to image option, but that's not what we want to do. There's an option already telling us here to update. So we just want to go here and then click on update here. And once we click update, 
to actually automatically bring up the image here but is that not possible of course it's updating you can actually just come here and right and right click and copy and paste here so that's it all right if you if you really enjoy this class and this is your first time in this channel please use the subscribe click on the subscribe so that you get notifications of on upcoming videos that will be posted in this channel and the series and other series that will be very interesting to you and then please do not fail to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and then if you have any comments go to the comment section below this video and then drop your comments to be responded to all right thank you very much for your time and i'm looking forward to see you in our next video